Hi everyone. Hi everyone. In the previous video, we showed you how to create a user marker using Flutter Map. In this video, we will use the power of Flutter Map and we will animate this user marker as you can see on my screen. Right now, it's a, a static icon and a container and we will make it more alive uh, by changing its size. We will make a simple animation. So let's get started. Uh, if you remember, we had the user marker stateless widget and it was a container with a box decoration of shape, box shape circle. And inside of it, we had a person pin icon, which had a size of 35. So now we are going to change the uh, size of this container. Uh, yes, if you remember, the container size is not defined here. It's being taken from the Flutter Maps marker. So where we are using this user marker right here, it's 60 and 60. Okay, let's start by uh, adding an animation to this user marker class. So we add the mixin called single, what was it? Single ticker. Single provide. ticker provider mixin. I think it's provider. something like that. I don't know why it doesn't show me right now. Interesting. Maybe if it is because you are running the app. I don't know. It's most probably because we are recording it still live. <laughs> yeah. The demo yet. Okay, but, let's see. But does she say in the error? Maybe you forget to override the uh, method. Deactivate method. It asks you to override the method here, I guess. It says it's marked as immutable. Okay. Oh, it's because, of course, it was uh, it was my next step, but we need to change it to a stateful page first. Otherwise, we can't use it. Yep. So let's change this to a stateful widget because we will need to have a animation controller state object. And we are giving yeah. our mixin to our state class. Perfect. And as suggested, we are going to overwrite the init state and... Okay, let's use that. And also, let's not forget, whenever we use init state, let's also add the dispose method in case we need it. Perfect. Okay, let's start with our uh, animation controller object. And also let's declare an animation object. And it's going to be animation double. Okay, let's look. And now let's instantiate the animation controller class inside of our init state. And it's going to be animation controller is animation. Okay, we think is this because of the mixing. Uh, it's expecting a duration. Let's give it a constant duration of one second. Okay, and let's dispose it when this class is disposed. So it's going to be animation. Okay, these are the standard stuff that we do when we are creating an animation controller. Right after we have our animation controller, uh, we can use the size animation. We can uh, define what it does. 
So let's call it that. Pipe animation is going to be, a, as I said, a double. It's going to change from, let's say, 30 to 60. And it's going to be a three, type three of double. And we are going to give the beginning value. For now, let's say the beginning value is 30 and the end value is 60. We are going to animate this. The parent is our animation controller. So we are connecting our animation object with our animation controller. And we can also, okay, I will show you that later. This is enough for now. We can, right now, this is a linear animation. It goes from 30 to 60 in one second, linearly. Uh, later on, we will make a, a better looking animation with just a simple trick. Okay, so now uh, we can use this size animation in our build function. Uh, what we need to do is wrap this container in an animated builder. Uh, let's use a builder. Let's change it to an animated builder. And also, in the builder, we are getting a widget for caching purposes. And what are we missing? Animation is required, of course. And for our animation, we need our size animation. Okay, perfect. Now, uh, we can give a width and the height to this container. Let's try that. For our width, I'm going to give it size animation, dot value, of course. Yep. And for our height, again, the same thing. Okay, so let's see how it goes. Of course, we need to restart it because we changed the init state. We changed the state plus widget into a state full widget. So, okay, what did we forget? Something very simple. It is, we didn't start the animation one. So in the init state, after these are created, let's forward our Animation controller. And if we forward it, it will start. And after one animation, it will stop. So we want it to be continually growing and shrinking. That's why we can use repeat. And in the reverse property, we can say true. So that it will go and come back. And again, we need a restart because this was in the init state. Okay, most probably it's working right now, but because our container is getting its size. Okay, as you can see, it's not nice yet. Uh, we will fix this, don't worry. By the way, 30 is too small. Let's make it 45 for now. Then we will take care of the centering issue and we will do the caching loss. Okay, let's see how it goes right now. Okay, at least our container never gets smaller than our icon. Uh, this is much better. And now, uh, Let's talk about this widget property coming from the animated builders builder property. Uh, inside of our builder, uh, we have this animating container and inside of it, we have a static icon object, this line 182. This doesn't need to be built over and over again on every tick of our animation. We can catch it. And uh, because of that, there is a child property of animated builder. So let's use that.
my computer is lagging too much. And I'm just going to cut this. Not cut, copy this icon from here. And instead of this right now, I'm just going to pass the child. I'm sorry, its name is Widget. Let's name it child. Okay, let's format this. So what happens, nothing is changed. Nothing is changed. Uh, what happens is animate, animated builder is giving this child into the builder method as a cached version of this uh, widget so that we can use it here. So this icon doesn't get rebuilt in every tick. Uh, this is a performance upgrade, uh, which I suggest everyone use in animated builders. Okay, right now our uh, marker is alive and we can see that it grows and shrinks uh, 60 frames per second. And I thought I was going, to, okay, there's one more thing. It's linear. Let's change this right now. Uh, and in the animate function, when we are giving our size animation, which goes from 45 to 60, instead of giving the parent directly, the animation controller, instead, we can give a curved animation. So let's take this here. Yeah. This is coming from Flutter, curve, animation. And the parent is animation control that I just cut. And the curve, whatever curve you want, so it's curves that, let's say, ease. Ease and out back. I'm looking at different types of fast out slowing. I guess is the best one that I chose. Fast out slowing. I don't know if you will be if you will realize the difference, but let's see. Let's restart the app. Most probably it will have like a, a better transition. Okay. Yeah. Uh, it shrinks quicker, but it grows uh, slower, as you can see. So uh, this is all uh, for animating the marker. Next up, we will show you how to center the map, letter map. Uh, and how to do it in an animated play also. Sounds like a plan. Yes. Don't forget to subscribe. See you. Bye.